Hello again, YouTube. It is me, Andy. I am here. Gonna dig a permission today. Super excited about this one. This is an 1877 farm home. Uh, never been detected before. Got the access to the whole yard. Uh, really excited that a, a friend of mine told me uh, that I could come detect this. And I've been looking at historicalaerials.com, trying to find all the uh, hot spots that might be here. And there's some buildings out back that we'll show you later. Um, that are newer. There's some older places that uh, are no longer there, but they're still foundations. Um, really excited. Really, really excited. Really thankful I can uh, explore this property. And I'm hoping I find something good. I mean, it's been here for quite some time. So we'll see. Let's find some shit. <laughs> That's my new catchphrase. <laughs> here we go. I'm up here in the front yard. Very first hole I dig. Coming up, uh, High 20s, low 30s. Some ants in there. <laughs> Try not to mess with them too much. Looks like a quarter. I think it's clad. Double check here. And it is, oh, nice. 76. That's cool. I have never not found one of those before. Perfect. Hey, the uh, homeowner's mowing his lawn. That's my, my friend Tim. Up by the mailbox here, got a really high 20s. I don't know if you can see it. There it is. It's green. It's green, about four inches down, five inches almost. And we have nice wheat penny. And it's pretty crusty. See if I can get that cleaned up, get a date off of it. Cool. First old find. It's 1923. Very happy with that. Out by the road. Man, nobody has ever dug here before. It is 100%. 100% positive nobody's ever dug before because I am hitting things left and right. And here we go. Another greenie. Take a look together. And we have, I can't tell. <laughs> it feels like a penny. Oh, <laughs> it's an Indian. Nice. Ooh, that's an old one too. All right, I don't want to rub it too much. But there we go. Indian head. I think I see a 19. Double check. Incredible. Perfect. Love it, love it, love it, love it. 1904. All right, solid 14. And it looks like we've got an old buckle. It's even got the a little thingy there still attached. That's pretty cool. It's got engraving on it, but man, it is brittle. It is falling apart. I'll have to try to clean that up gently. See if I can uh, get any detail off of it, but I can see a circle. Some kind of circle detail right on the side there. Should be interesting. Still working on this front yard. I'm hitting things left and right, all good signals, so it's taking me a lot longer than I thought it would. And look at this. Look at this. What is this? I think we've got a necklace. And it's gold. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> all right, here comes Tim. <laughs> <laughs> I just found a gold necklace. Holy sh! Look at that shit. Wow. Oh, come on, there we go. There it is. is it's got. It's got to be gold. It's gold plated, at the very least. Oh yeah. 
last at the end. Yeah, I'm gonna keep, because I think there's more down there. That's crazy, so we'll yeah, clean that up cool. and see what we can find. Wow. If there's any marks for what it is, it's gonna be on that guy right there. Oh yeah. Hmm. All right, we'll check it out. Okay, still, <laughs> still in the front yard after finding that gold-plated chain necklace. And we got ourselves a solid 24. And it looks like, okay, it's Penny. Oh, nice, sweet scent. There's a weedy. Let's see, I think I can see a date on it. Let's try to clean that up a little bit. Man, I thought I had hit gold. I'm right out by this little outbuilding. I thought I hit gold, but I looked at it a little closer, and uh, it's not. It's got gold, gold coloring to it, but it's pretty light. Not entirely sure what that is. Bring up at a uh, 14. Back of the house, right down this little driveway path here. Yeehaw! Sells a piece of an old gun. Very nice. Okay, here in the backyard, solid 17, and it looks like I might have a bell, which would be the first one I ever found. Yes, it is. Oh, nice. Oh, it's scratched it. Oh, that's a pretty one. That's beautiful. That is really, really pretty. I love that. I'm gonna have to try to clean the dirt out, see if it still jingles. I bet it does. Gorgeous. Okay, I found the old clothesline anchor. So I gotta find the other one because I've always had really good luck underneath clotheslines, or at least where they used to be. Now the wind blows from that way. So I'm thinking that it's either gonna be, well at least the other end, over here or behind me over here. So I'm just gonna go straight line back and forth, see if I can get anything good. All right, clotheslines right there ourselves what appears to be kind of old shaker top whether it's a salt shaker or something for the lawn maybe something for laundry it's hard to say but there we go oh this one was deep <laughs> so just for perspective here's my shovel look at this that's a good 14 inches and I got something cool, something really cool. It's 100% 1800s. I have no idea what it is, but check this out. I had to pry to get this bad boy out. Look at that. Absolutely gorgeous. It might, I don't even know. I don't know what this is, I have no idea. It looks like a hook. It's bent. I'm gonna try to bend it back. I don't know, maybe I won't. But obviously it's got some kind of portrait on there. Absolutely stunning. That's really pretty. So I'll clean it up a little bit and we'll get some more detail on this, but man, that's beautiful. This is a really, really good part of the yard. Finding that, found that bell here, now found this. Gorgeous. All right, let's go over today's finds. First off, no silver. That's a bummer. I was really hoping for silver here, um, but I did get some really good finds. So we'll start with the kind of garbage stuff and we'll move to good things. Uh, lots of these canning lids. There was one specific spot in the backyard, for, I don't know, five, six, seven of these canning lids. I found tons of them. So that must've been where they, where they done all, did all their canning or there was a garbage pit back there. Um, either way, that's a pretty cool find. We got the shaker top, a couple pieces of uh, probably farm equipment. 
really old half of a knife. That's an old one. I haven't found one that old before, but that's pretty cool. Uh, we've got up here what looks like some kind of hair cutting thing. Uh, glue bottle. The old gun. I actually found the, um, oh, what do you call it? The thing you cock the gun with. Uh, I found that. Uh, fishing weight. Old toy. Found my peepee. -pee. <laughs> Uh, not sure what that is. It's ornamental. It's round. Who knows? An old bolt. Uh, the gold ring that I thought was gold, it wasn't. This is probably the best find of the day. Well, almost the best find. It's one of the best finds. Um, and I think it's from the top of an old wood-burning stove. Um, I actually reached out to a Facebook group, and a couple guys seemed to think that's exactly what it was. So that's definitely possible. Too bad it broke when I was trying to brush it off. Ugh, I'm so mad about that. Got a couple buckles. I think that's an old shoe buckle. Big buckle. I'm not sure what kind of buckle that is. Lots of clad. Got about, uh, I don't know, two bucks in, well, not maybe that much, dollar, dollar fifty in clad. An old shell casing. And now for the good stuff. Start down here. One, two, three, four, five, six wheat pennies and the 1904 Indian head. Super happy about that. The gold chain. Look at that. I thought this was real gold. I was freaking out. Uh, I was swearing when I found it in a good way, so I might not be able to air that one. <laughs> uh, but I think unfortunately it's just gold plated. I'll clean it up when I get home, but man, when that thing popped out of the ground, I was freaking out. Still pretty though. And then I think this is my favorite find. I'm really happy with this one. This is a, a bell, probably an old animal bell. Love this. Really, really happy with that. Unless you didn't find something to do with that because I really uh really enjoy that didn't think I ever ever find one of these pretty happy so all in all it's been a long day I am tired it is now oh my gosh it's almost 4 p.m I've been here six hours seven hours almost um hunting this property and my face is you can tell my face is getting red it's hot uh put sunscreen on but apparently not enough I am super happy for the homeowners to let me explore this property. I'm gonna leave pretty much all this stuff with them except for the bell. I kinda like the bell. Maybe the coins, I'll take the coins. Everything else they can have. Um, just cause it's cool stuff and I think it relates to their house and um, I would like them to have it. So we're probably gonna hunt this property again. I don't feel like I'm done. I feel like I get a good once over, but I know there's more here. I know there's silver here. There has to be. Um, so my friend Tim, and I, the next time we have a day off together, we're gonna we're gonna try to hunt this place together and see if we can turn anything else up. He'll use my old Garrett 250, and I'll use my new Equinox 800, and we'll uh, we'll double team it and see what we can do. So until next time, thanks for watching, guys. Keep digging. Have a great one.